Mm. Right now, <clears throat> with Tate, uh, they've been hanging out. No, I don't know. In in all reality, all he does the whole time is make fun of Aiden. I don't know why Aiden sits there and just and just. I think does they're, I think they're fucking, shit to him I think the whole time. But no, let me say this, bro. I I told Aiden before he went out there. I said, "Yo, you tell Tate. That you tell I want to fuck you. No, you tell that <laughs> fucking Tate." Bro. Hey, yo, Barty man, Barty boy team. What's wrong with you? What? Binderism. <laughs> yo, shout out to OJ. Bro, you tell him that I I think that the uh, I hey, think our yo, approach was a little. I think too. we our approach was a little bit too harsh, bro. Uh, Shut the fuck up. I'm not back. So for those who don't know, um, don't know Logan Paul you know, over the past like um, I would say like a good portion of the year actually has been very harsh and critical on Andrew Tate. Um, his takeaway is obviously throwing out the words, the racism, the misogynist, you know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the crazy part about it though is that as you were about to see, Logan Paul continues to like double and triple down on it, even though his two co-hosts kind of switch, and it gets a bit interesting, especially when different um thought processes are in the same room. So let's, let's see. What happens life really worked out because now you're in a situation where and we're gonna dive into andrew tate i don't <laughs> feel like platforming this guy i don't feel like giving him the blessing of being my dance partner in the ring especially after <laughs> the social media platforms have made it very clear how they feel about this guy right and, and and i would even i would even i would even um put a little call out here to like fellow creators and even jj like you want to re-platform this guy anyone you want to have him on your shows. You want to you want to give him another opportunity to speak and and and, and spread his agenda. First and foremost, this is a very very thin line between allowing somebody to speak on certain platforms. I get it. Super extremists and shit like that. You kind of you kind of gotta, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. Ever since they censored Donald Trump that one time, I really realized, bro. Any yo shit get shit could get crazy for just regular people, bro. You can censor the president, bro, off of some shit he said, even whether it's right or wrong or whatever the case may be. Free speech is I don't really I don't really know how well free speech works, bro. Like you can censor the fucking president, bro, of a nation, and nobody bats an eye. Niggas is all on board, like yeah, he on some boat. Wow. And I'm not agreeing with what he said of whether or not he should. It's just the mere fact that you can censor the president, bro, because of something he said. That's fucking crazy. And if I could do that, God knows what else you could do. That's all I'm saying. I'm. <laughs> I think we should shed light on that. That's 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 a little insane. But hey, man. Because um, whether you believe it or not, the shit that Andrew Tate is saying will have a ripple effect, much more dangerous than you can imagine because his narrative is truly hateful his rhetoric has extreme negative energy in it and it will affect impressionable young people in a way that will not show until years from now and it is dangerous and not for shit that guy's a I pussy nah. that guy's a no, fucking no, you guys are both do. wrong that guy's no, no, a no, no, bitch and he's just like i'm on the tate tit i'm on the tate tit and i go Again, give me some more nourishment, you are, bro. Two. You I'm hate women, you two. hate gays, no, and you're true. racist. No, of course you like Andrew Tate, no, you no. fucking scumbag. I'm just like, yo. That's one hell of a takeaway from that game. I'm not gonna lie to you. you that, none of that even sounds like Logan. Just, just FYI. Nope. That does That's, not, that doesn't even sound like, it's, it. It, it sounds like something that he's like trying to like process, but he's overthinking it. So it just sounds, it sounds phony damn near. Mm -hmm. And he just, he's going and Not gonna lie to you, has a hot take. He wanna get clicks. Niggas is doing this shit for ten, and half of the shit these niggas be saying, they don't even believe. Not, not talking about AJ and them and playback. Half of these other, a lot of these creators, bro, they be saying shit that they don't really believe, but they know the ramifications and the backlash or the tension is gonna grab, bro. So that's just what it is, bro. Probably don't believe. You probably say the same shit, some of the same things Andrew Tate says behind closed doors when the camera's not on. Keep it a bean. If we keep it at a bean, that's what happens, bro. Like just so y'all know, like he's like routinely like just ha like just hamming into it, hamming into it. Even calling his friends like, "Oh, you agree with them? Oh, you must hate women. Oh yeah, you're a racist. Oh yeah, like it's like, bro, like what are you talking about right now?" So there's two things going on right here. One, Logan Paul obviously is trying to set up a fight here. Like, I don't give a fuck which way you, you, split you think it. it is. Yeah, I think the reason why he's being this Ooh. fucking fierce. I forgot Logan Paul do box, and oh boy, used to be what, a professional kickboxer. Is she gonna? Is Andrew Tate gonna fight him though? 
I'm pretty sure it's gonna bring in mad rap. I'm like ninety percent, ninety percent sure that rev that stream revenue or that revenue in general is gonna bring up hella bread. If that's what you're trying to do, it's a smart, it's a smart move. It's a smart move. It's a it's a great fucking move. And you know what? That makes way more sense now. He's trying to provoke him. Ha ha. Get that money, man. That's what I'm saying. They don't believe in what they're saying. They just it's about it's about getting views and making money, bro. You get a hot take, you know it's gonna attract certain people, whether it's negative or positive, right? Then what happens? We we gain off of this. We we gain momentum and then we go on to the next one. And then the next like you know what I'm saying, it's to keep relevancy, is to keep keep the people looking, watching. Yo, what did he say next? What else did he say? Well, you know what I'm saying? Smart. It's against Andrew Tate. One, he might actually believe it, but two, 100% it will help sell a fight. And between him and Andrew Tate, if they did fight, the fucking money they would make would be astronomical. Andrew Tate could probably buy 20 Bugattis with that money, right? So that's the first thing I think is happening. So Second I thing, he's trying to build it up. So like over time, it's just like, okay, it was it was bound to happen. And try to get that shit to its climax. It's as furthest as he could push that shit. So when they do have a fight, shit's gonna be Stupid, I think it's interesting how people decide to interpret information. I think that some of the shit Andrew Tate says is misinterpreted in the minds of young people because they can't tell and decipher when he's joking and being playful and when he's being serious. Because a lot of what he says has to do with self-responsibility and ambition. Mm -hmm. And if you follow those things, you would probably become a better person and a better worker. You probably have better results in your career mm -hmm. and um, you probably are gonna be in better shape. You probably just take better care of yourself. For sure. But then if you take all the playful stuff he says seriously, you're kind of missing the point like he says those things to get a reaction He says those things because it'll get clicks but, and a lot of that stuff has to do with women Because if you if you're being honest if you just sit there and fucking tell niggas how to invest their money in an index fund They're not gonna click on your TikTok. but Logan Paul knows that though That that's the problem that I have with all of it is that Logan He's not a 43 year old like he understands how things operate mm -hmm. like he knows how the internet works So for him to just like be disingenuous about what's going on how he's never like as if like he's never Never seen a troll before. <clears throat> yeah, I think this shit is obviously for clicks. He he's trying to get he's trying to get his ends out of that shit. He's trying to get his bread out of it. So he's trying to attach his. He, I ain't gonna say attach his name, but he's trying to. You know what I'm saying? Ease into that situation with the fight, bro. Or or, or however, whether it be a fight or whether it be just a a back and forth. He's trying to. You know what I'm saying? Because he knows, like, that shit brings... When you bring up Andrew Tate name, when you bring up somebody who's been banned off of many platforms or been labeled as these things, and you speak about them, people look, people like, oh, what did he say about this guy now? Or You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's entertainment, bro. So, that's what that's just how I feel. That's what I think. And as far as what Agent said, that shit is... That's very, that's very true. That's That's very true. Like, he knows, like... He knows how to play the internet. Both of them do. Both and they're and they're doing it, to be honest. I think I think Andrew Tate did it the first, but I think he went about it probably too extreme. And I don't I don't listen to all his messages. I don't and this is another thing people gotta realize, bro. You, it's fine to not agree with everything somebody says. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're in, initially a bad human being altogether. Now, if somebody is inherently bad, and they just spewing off bad shit, then that's one thing. But if somebody is spewing off some shit to catch your attention, like, I won't agree with what Kanye say sometimes, but I understand that he's doing it, maybe not every single time, but sometimes he's doing it to, because he knows, like, people's attention spans are short, bro. Like, even this video, it's about, it's, it's going to be, like, 15 minutes. How many people are going to watch this video, whether I'm, I'm a small YouTuber slash streamer or a big one, it's, it's, it's still going to be less than the amount of people that, that should be. You know what I'm saying? But if I see some flash crazy shit... I have some joints shaking her ass in the background. How many, then, then people are gonna listen. You get what I'm saying? It's 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 weird, bro. It's weird. Or he's never seen somebody make hyperbolic statements on the internet to get a reaction. You can agree or disagree if any of that is like okay and fair. But to act as if like what he is saying, he means in the most literal sense, is crazy. If a girl follows me and she's hot and I see a single picture for a private jet, it's block. Women can't afford jets. Women are all brokies. Why are you flying around on some man's jet? You should have been a virgin when I met you. Haram. They nobody, nobody should take that seriously. But some people do, and those are the people that I feel like get fucked. 
to the people that obviously look at this and they're like, this nigga's just trying to be funny for the sake of, and who knows, he might believe the foundation of what he's saying, but the presentation and the way he packages it is flamboyant so that people want to click or people want to tune in. I follow him on Twitter and I hear him say the dumbest things on a daily basis. But when you look past all the playful shit and you focus on the things that actually can change your life, I think there's plenty of positive impact there. But Logan doesn't see it as that no, because he he's does. trying to set up a fucking okay, fight. I'm, I'm say, telling you, bro, he, he's trying he, to set it he up. He does, so that's the reason why it's like so it's annoying because it acts as if like you don't understand how the internet works and, and especially when it comes to this, it's mad annoying, especially when you're like virtue signaling to some subsection yeah. and it's almost like you're this is evil versus good, bad versus, like you know what I'm saying? Like you're just, you're going this back and forth and you're like, I'm going to stand on this side of the fence and it's like, Ah, uh, shut up, bro. You, you, know, you know how the internet works. He thinks they should have their body count strapped to their forehead. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, okay, then, then men should have the size of their cock strapped to their forehead. Fuck, you know what I say? Like, how many men, how many men thing, are going to lose opportunities? Because, like, this, these, these out-of-the-world analogies that are amusing, but fucking... You're right. He, this is an act. I'm telling this you. This is an act. I can't... You, me, look at... Me. He's trying to get that money, man. <laughs> Long story short, this man is trying to get that bread. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> Logan Paul has just exposed himself as being an industry tool. I'll be honest with you, bro. Jesus Christ fucks. Oh, my God. Genuinely, I know people that hate me, that treat me better about my faith than you, and you're my best friend. So, like, one that really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. I just am definitely questioning why we have to perpetuate a belief that is fucking I, I say so not only is this individual willing to sell himself this nigga is crazy <laughs> nah that's your bestie yo that's bro that's bro best friend somebody let me know that's od that's od well i i it's certain shit i understand y'all if y'all really close friends you can fuck with each other but come on on camera with shit like that is crazy bro that's od hey a logan is Wild Logan dude. is Logan's going through it, man. He's he's having a lot of hot takes recently, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a lot of hot takes, man. He's having a he lot know, of hot takes, man. To be fair, internet, his co-host does bring it up a lot. No, he does. And I also don't think he's the a good representation of, you know, probably not. A, a Blasphemous. Bla 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 just blasphemous. Just blasphemous. So you guys genuinely hate him. I fuck with a lot of the shit he says. Not no obviously shit. do. You're a racist, a homophobic Christian. <laughs> obviously you do. Shut up, stop. What are you doing today to change your mood? Yo. Me? 30 minutes ago? Yo, you taking this... Taking gummies and shit. Like so, uh, a, a lot of... Basically what it was gathering is that a lot of people just feel like... I know what you said earlier in the video is that you feel like all of this is just a build-up for a fight. Yes. I... You know that? And it's like... Do you... It's do like Javante Davis and, and uh, Ryan Garcia fighting. But it's just a fight niggas like to talk about, but I gotta see it actually lot like this before I believe it. But, but other people believe that Logan is bought into this idea of just being on the other side of the fence for the sake of being on the other side of the fence because he knows for a fact there's a massive fight. Be, it could be both. It could, it could be, be both. both. It could be both. Yeah. I just think the fight has a big part to do with this. So you Yeah. I think he yeah. Like I just, like I think he goes into it with the intention of like shock value and to say certain things to, to get people's attention and then i also think he has a hidden agenda to set that fight up because it's, 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 it's a money it's a money it's a money thing bro this shit is about making bread bro at the end of the day so i wouldn't be shocked is it gonna happen though is the question like is the fight gonna happen i only see andrew andrew fight andrew tate fight in like some not a simulation but like some 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 practice shit with somebody that was kind of smaller than him and it didn't really look like, you know what I'm saying, no serious fight. I heard he was a professional, though. I heard he was a professional at one point in time, so he could, he could. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't think old boy agree with some of the shit he's saying, though. I think, I think he doesn't agree. I think Logan Paul doesn't agree with certain shit, but he agrees with other shit. But for the sake of the internet, he's, he's, he's playing the internet game just like how Tate is. And he's trying to take the... Righteous path versus Tate, who's on a, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And he, like, Tate is on some I don't give a fuck as long as my message gets across type shit. Which is understandable with the internet, because if you know the internet, you know, bro. You can't be up here crying and all of that shit, bro. Nobody cares. Get your message across and get the fuck out of there.
You're going to get a subsection of people who actually care and genuinely, you know what I'm saying, are worried about you, obviously, like fans and shit. But, bro, on a larger scale, when you get to that point, bro, it's going to be so much hate, so much other extra shit coming your way that you're just not going to feel like dealing with. So, like you said, get your shit and get out of there, man. Use the internet to your, to your, to your disposal. Don't let the internet use you. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much what I got from this whole shit. I hope they fight, though. I do want to see that now. 